It was really, it's a progressive, pro a progressive process, and a lot of credit to Sujanya for pushing us on this. It was all about going out and getting feedback repetitively. So we started out by meeting you know, different potential partners. Um, we met with the CEO of Technorati. Uh, we met with you know, people at Yahoo. And it was really all about like, getting feedback. How do you see this fitting in with your business? How do you, feel, how do you see this you know, fitting in with your user base? Um, and you know, at one point, you know, Sujanya had a contact at Kleiner Perkins named Ajit. Um, again, same kind of thing. We said we wanted to pitch our business model at, at the time. And we went in and got some feedback um, from him. And that you know, got him excited. And then you know, another partner at Kleiner Perkins, Randy, Randy Komisar, who many of you may know from E145, um, saw it, set up another, yet another feedback meeting, um, who Austin and I, you know, we had taken classes with. And then um, he really sort of caught, you know, caught wind of the bigger vision and, and really sort of saw it. So again, it wasn't like a, you know, one day we've arrived. It was progressively going out and getting feedback from different people. And then you know, eventually it, it started to pick up traction. Did you actually have a product? Did you have something to show? Or was it just an idea at that stage? We did have a product. We did, uh, I mean, basically, we had launched the first product. We had some data to show in terms of what the usability is, what people are using it for, some stats to go along with it. Obviously, we had not raised a penny for a year and a half, so the cost side looked very favorable. Uh, it wasn't a, well, we incurred X amount of variable costs, and we had to buy 20,000 servers to do this. So, and then the business model, we had, you know, we had, we had great brainstorming sessions. I think one of the main things that, that we had done along with a couple of other folks was continue and try and iterating on the early concept and says where all that can be done. And, and Austin is, is a big product visionary to say, well, this, we can take it this way or we can go that way or we can take it the other way around. And uh, so it's really all about basically making sure that we had the right pieces together. We did not have every single, I, I, I think I have never written a business plan myself. Like, I, I don't know if anybody writes business plan anymore. I think it's just a, a slide deck. And uh, the, what, what Josh is referring to is we basically used to keep on talking to the VCs and, and the investor community because we ourselves were investing our time. And I think time is just as big of an asset as capital is. And we would always like to run some cross-checks. So we never really pitched to say we were raising financing. But we would say we would love to get your feedback. And and and, uh, and if it obviously if it was interesting for them they would they're going to say we would like to invest. I love that. The, I it, love this old saying like if you ask for uh, money you get advice. If you ask for advice you get money. <laughs> so uh, you basically went back. We didn't know that, by the way, <laughs> that saying, but I think that's what it worked out. 